thank the Skull Session for the standing ovation we gave to the men and women who serve our great country in the Military Appreciation Day, so that was an awesome experience. Uh, my father was in the Army, my sister was in the Air Force, and uh, the one thing that the Ohio State, for as long as I can remember, has been exceptional at supporting and, and showing appreciation for the men and women who serve. Uh, uh, it's just it was a great experience to be part of that today. And also thank Buckeye Nation, like we always do, to come out and support in a noon game like that and, and really helped uh, with the noise and the certain uh, times of the game. So uh, very appreciative of it, and I'll answer any questions. Uh, front row right, Clay. Coach, as you entered this week of the many questions you had about your team, do you think more were answered today, and specifically the run game? That yeah, the out? run game in the red zone, I think. We pounded the ball in there pretty good. We worked a nauseam at that. I mean, the amount of time that we spent at that was uh, – over the top, and it, I felt the line of scrimmage change, and it's difficult to run against that bare defense that uh, Nebraska runs. Uh, but uh, and I thought the backs worked on pad level, and you know even when there was a free player, which is going to be when you when you learn a, more of a pro style offense like we are, you're going to have a free player at times, and they have to run over those guys and drop your pads. And uh, I thought they did a good job with that. Over to the left, Bill. Times you were very exercised as you usually are on the sideline, like getting up for big moments in the game. Did you get the effort from your team that you you wanted? I did. I think obviously we'll watch the film tomorrow, and there's uh, you know defensively still some things, but we didn't give up a big hit. If I thought we had a couple of hits, but not the big hit. And we were without three starters in the back end of our defense. You had Jordan Fuller, you had Jeffrey Okuda, and Zaya Pryor. Uh, that could not play, and uh, obviously Brendan White came in and did a hell of a job. Had 13 tackles, and uh, uh, but I thought our team gave great, great effort. I thought the energy was there, and uh, so I was pleased. Over to the left, Bill. Yeah, I was going to ask you about the defense. Also, I mean, missing those guys. How did you feel that the defense overall played, and also the passing game wasn't as sharp as usual? Yeah, I wish the uh, we didn't have the not wish if we didn't have those three turnovers. You know, obviously you don't put your defense in bad field, bad situations. So I thought our defense improved. Obviously nowhere near where we need to be, but they improved, and we're still stop gapping, and that means you're just you know the lineups keep continuously changing because of injuries and. And, uh, but we, I think we should have everybody back next week if we don't uh, get a guy hurt in practice. Um, second part of your question? Uh, the passing game. Yeah, the passing game wasn't as sharp today. Uh, we threw a pick and then we had a sack or sack fumble that uh, was just a missed assignment by a tight end. Uh, shouldn't have happened. And then uh, KJ is very uh, tight with the ball usually and had a fumble and then the other guys, Mike Weber, had two times it laid on the ground. So we just got to get those fixed. and. It never ends. You just got to prioritize and emphasize and get it fixed. And overall, would you say nine games into the season, this team is anywhere close to where you want it to be? Uh, I still don't think we're close. I, I do. I think we're close. Uh, we better be. It's what's, we going to see what's coming up down next week. So uh, I, I like the effort today. Uh, front row right. Tim? Yeah, a couple of questions, uh, Coach. Number one, uh, Brendan White, how long have you seen this sort of coming from him, this potential to play? And he went and played, seemed to play his position extremely well, not just as a stopgap. Yeah, he uh, has been working uh, very hard in practice to earn the trust of the coaches to get on the field. And, you know, the first thing you do is you earn the trust to get on special teams. And uh, uh, to see that he uh, started and I kept hearing about it, earning the trust, he's getting better, he's getting better, he's getting better, and then obviously proved it today. Yeah, and Okuda, was he still in protocol? And then Isaiah Pryor? No. What? He had a, a groin issue that uh, actually happened like on a Tuesday practice. Yeah. Freak, inc freak uh, uh, incident. And we thought we'd get him ready. Who was the second one? Pryor. Pryor has an impingement of the shoulder, but yeah. he'll be fine uh, this week. And one of the, one of the last thing you talked, you know, you wanted your running backs to make their own hole if they had to. It looked like J.K. did that a few times today. Just what did you see from that aspect? I of thought it? they both did. I thought uh, guys, you know, that's you know, you sit and watch games last Saturday, and you yeah, go. There's a guy there. Do something with it, you know. And I thought uh, the emphasis was there all week. Did you make the decision? Uh, with J.K. on that last drive, though, it seemed like it might have been Weber's turn. Did, did, was there a sense that J.K. was hot? What was? Well, ball security has something to do with that too. You know, if there's a chance that ball is going to go on the ground, then uh, really it's just something. Uh, I wasn't aware who was in. That's I let Coach Alford and Coach Day obviously handle that. Over to the left, Doug. Urban, it seems like at times you guys defensively are maybe playing some more off coverage. Is, is there anything you've done schematically to say, we really don't want to give up big plays, so maybe if we give up some stuff underneath, we can live with that? Yeah, as hard as that is to do. You know, that's uh, 
I think there was some adjustments we'd, we'd made. That was in two weeks, by weeks. And so there's a fine line. You can get bled to death, and we don't want to do that, obviously. But uh, we did play a little bit more off coverage today, a little more zone coverage, too. Uh, over to the right. Austin? Urban, you've said many times that you're going to enjoy every win. I, I don't mean to take anything away from the victory, but I wonder if this matched up what you thought you would see after two weeks to address the issues and get a little healthier and all that stuff. And obviously you weren't, but how does this match up what you thought today? I am. I, I'm just very upset with the turnovers. You know, that would have been a, a different game. I thought special teams is awesome. We blocked a punt. Our punter did a great job. He had four kicks, average almost 50 yards per kick. You know, kickoff return wasn't great. Uh, but the biggest thing is to get that darn bad taste out of your mouth from a couple of weeks ago and go win the game. It was a close game against a team that was hitting the stride now. I mean, that's, you know, I, I remember I was talking to Brady Quinn who did the game, and, you know, you watch the beginning of the game, and that, that's, that, that's going to be a hell of a team down the road now. And uh, we've got a lot of respect for them. Over to the left, Ari. Urban, talking about uh, Mike Weber and J.K. Dobbins. Um, did you do anything differently schematically to get the running game going? It yes, seems all uh, kinds and, of stuff. And how I mean, we talked about all the changes, you know, the last two weeks about how you wanted to, you know, make those changes. I know that's probably a pretty tall task, but how would you assess on both sides of the football how you guys did in terms of all those bye week changes that you were trying to make? I'll know more Monday when I talk to you after watching the videotape. But my initial assessment is once again, you get rid of those three turnovers. That's a pretty good game, you know, against a team that was, you know, put 600 yards on a Minnesota team that's top 20 defense. So, uh, you know, there's going to be things to fix, obviously. You know, I see Jordan Fuller leave the game, and you're thinking, my gosh, here we go again. You know, you're down to uh, two corners because Okuda couldn't go, and, and you moved your other corner back to uh, safety, Sean Wade. So uh, there's, it's still that putting that puzzle together. It's not solved yet. So a lot of personnel stuff too, right? Secondary. What's that? A lot of personnel stuff secondary. Changes, you mean? No, just meaning like having to overcome it. How hard is that? Yeah, it's, it's awful. It's, it's, uh, you'd like, by this time of the year, you'd like to have consistency of personnel, consistency of scheme. and. We had some scheme issues, and we, it's hard to change or adapt schemes on a Tuesday, Wednesday practice as you're getting ready for the next game. And the bye week, we kept coaches in on Monday, and uh, uh, really for whatever it was, 6 o'clock till the 10, 11 o'clock at night, every, we were working red zone offense, run the game, run the ball, and how to eliminate big plays on defense. Last two questions, uh, individuals for Coach Myers. We got players out here. I want to get them with you over here to the right, Rob. Urban, you look good and, and improved in some areas, but you know it was a two-win team and it was a struggle. Is it unrealistic to think you can get everything done in, in a bye week? I mean, how much can you improve? We yeah, we we did, and I I get it. Uh, that that was a two-win team, but that's a two-win team that people don't want to play right now. You know, they uh, like I said on videotape, I wasn't expecting to see what I saw. And uh, very good players, very good scheme, and guys are going to get very good. So um, to answer your question, we're going to go back to work. Uh, enjoy the, um, we're going to enjoy that win now. Get a victory meal tomorrow night as a team and go enjoy it and then go to work and get ready for the next one. Okay, and final question, uh, young lady over to the left. <clears throat> Since November is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, do you and the team have any plans to promote awareness? Well, that's a great question. I'll address that with uh, uh, our staff, and I think we will do something. Great. Thank you. Coach, thank you very much. Yep.